Okay, so here I am with Ferry and Sharon. Thank you very much for joining me. Oh, well, obviously, Open One is going very well. Uh, I had a very good season last year, ending with the uh, Europeans, uh, which I got my three consecutive goals on the uh, 10K. And we also got a win on the, on the team relay, so we did really good. And now the, uh, the new season is just starting off, and I finished fourth here uh, at the World Cup. So I'm really happy about that. It's a good start of the season, and uh, I'm still leading the World Series. So I, I hope I can finish strong in Abu Dhabi. For me, now open water swimming is going great. I think this year is my best year so far. I think so. And I started swimming uh, the World Series just to learn how to swim open water, do more races, and it's, it's good, I like it, and yeah, I'm enjoying my time swimming open water, I'm liking it more every day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, de definitely not. Uh, I myself, I train in Eindhoven, uh, I train with Marcel uh, Buda, he used to train, him, uh, he used to swim himself when he was younger. Um, and now we have this massive group in Eindhoven with uh, 17, 17 swimmers. Um, also like Renault, me, Femke, a lot of pool swimmers we train with, but I also train with, we have four or five uh, open water swimmers now in our group. So uh, it's growing in Holland, uh, which is really nice. So yeah. Um, I'm swimming in France since 2013. I went there just to swim in the pool and then I tried the open water and yeah, I continued the open water <laughs> swim. I, I trained with Philippe Lucas in, in, the, in Montpellier and now he has like a big group with open water swimmers, like 14, but half of it is open, uh, open water. So yeah, an, an international group, like French people, German people, yeah, uh, Russian people. <laughs> No, we never train. Well, we're gonna do a training camp yeah. this year together, but usually only at the races. Will it be the first training camp together with Open Water? Well, that I joined them. Yeah. I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Which is amazing because I just presumed you trained together because, as I said, your results are often fairly similar. So uh, to very similar. Today yeah. you both came fourth. <laughs> yeah. This is when yeah. China, by the way, for those watching it on YouTube. Uh, yeah, but also our coaches have like very different uh, tactics, yeah, and training yeah. methodology. Uh, like I do a lot of technique, a lot of easy speed. Um, it's like we have some rest weeks and some h harder weeks. And Sharon, yeah, for me it's <laughs> like every week it's hard. Every training we have to swim fast, and we never know what kind of training we're gonna do. We know it's always fast and hard and a lot of butterfly and no rest um, but we get the rest on the big competitions so once or twice a year and that's it in kilometers it's like uh, we can go up to 90 but uh -huh. normally it's 86 87 but it's every week and <laughs> every nice. week it's the same in the morning we do a lot of paddles and arms with pool boy and then um, I got also a sponge on my in my feet, so it's extra kilos. Uh, or I take out the pool boy, it makes it harder. And in the afternoon we have, on Monday we have like a sprint set, and that's 20 times 100 fast. And after we get a 2000, and he says it's cleaning, but I have to swim fast in the 2000. <laughs> that's like a normal Monday. And then on the Tuesday in the afternoon we get a long set. And that's like the set is like 8k and the whole training is like 10 or 11k and we have to do 20 times 400 fast or 8 times 1000 or 4 times 2000 and that's the hardest set and then on Friday we do that again and before on Monday and Thursday we have also gym before the training in the afternoon and it's like six seven hours of training and the Wednesday we get rest in the afternoon and Saturday I saw you shaking your head there, Ferry. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what's your sort of typical sort of days? Uh, well, we also have like Wednesday off, so we do two on Monday, two on Tuesday, uh, one on Friday, well, Wednesday, two on Thursday, two on Friday, and then one on Saturday. Um, but usually we have like Wednesday morning, we have a recovery, so we can do as uh, well in the second half of the week. Um, and then like 
Tuesday morning and Thursday morning we have, we call it strength endurance. Uh, so we do some things with propeller, um, which is like a propeller you have on, on like a lane rope uh, pulling behind you. So it's extra uh, resistance. Uh, but like our average mileage is going to be, I think also about 65, but we go more up to 90 and then we also have like weeks of 40 or 50 K just to, you know, get some rest so you can get like another good few weeks in. So we go a little bit more up and down than she does. And so you mentioned weight training. So is weight training an important part of your swim training? Um, I do weights twice a week, uh, but it's mostly just to get all the muscles a bit activated, not really, um, not really that tough. For sure, and I've seen you on Facebook with doing your pull-ups. Uh, oh, it's the normal pull-ups, uh -huh. and then I have to do normally like my record is ten or twelve, but it, we do like a set with a lot of exercises. I think eight exercises, and I have to do ten reps. And then the, you got the pull-ups in it, and I do like six in the in the room set, and at the end of the Great session we have to do like two times six or two times eight at the end but now he also puts weight on the feet <laughs> also and then i do only four or five it depends on the day and but that that hurts here <laughs> it's like the butterfly or the open water swimming so uh well i usually do all my trainings in the in the pool uh, especially in holland it's get it can get really cold um but it's mostly before races, like when we arrive, like five days before a race, we do open water every morning uh, just to get the feel back and get used to the conditions at that particular uh, place. So we don't try not to do that much open water training because it can mess up your technique a little bit and it's hard to measure how fast you're going. Uh, so we don't do that too much. Yeah. We have the same, <clears throat> we always train in the pool, an outside pool, um, in the 50 meter pool in Montpellier. But we have the beach, but we don't swim there. We, you don't know how fast you're going. and Yeah, that's why we always train in the pool. Uh, this year I, s I didn't focus on pool racing. I wanted to focus on open water because I did the World Series and everything. So yeah, this year I was like, okay, we'll focus on open water and we'll see if the pool races. If I get back at my level of pool races. Uh, well, I did a race at the Europeans in the 4x200. Um, and we did quite right, uh, quite fine. We made finals, so uh, I was happy about that. But uh, I couldn't get the same speed as I could last year, uh, the year before at the Worlds. Uh, but this year I probably won't be, um, I won't be doing a lot of, pool racing because I'm I'm gonna focus a bit more on school and in, in the first part of the year so if I also want to do in the pool it just it will mess up my open water so I'm not gonna do that so you put your hand in the water and just first thing you do is like try to grab the water and then just pull through get your hand uh, under your elbow as fast as you can so you have like this big part where you can just push up water and try to keep it under your elbow as long as you can and then push off and then you still have your other arm in front and then once you're about here you start doing the other arm. So yours nearly a catch-up stroke? Nearly a catch-up stroke and then just with a long glide in it uh, makes it a lot easier for me. And legs for you? Uh, mostly in the sprint. I, I use some legs just um, also because a lot of people are touching your legs. It's nice to have a little bit of uh, frequency in your legs but it's not too much. Um. Yeah. Well, I have some problems in the start, like, um, yeah, I don't know, I'm like a girl who has to, yeah, do, like, uh, to start slow and then build up the race. But at the Europeans, I felt already pretty good at the start, and I'm just swimming easy. But sometimes when I swim easy, I can find my stroke, and then I can swim faster and faster and faster. So that's what I did at the 10k, I just with the wetsuit I just turned my arms because we don't really feel the water with the wetsuit no. so I was like oh and then I feel better and I feel better and then every time I feel better so in the 10k I felt the best like the last 400 I felt really good and I wasn't tired because I don't use that. I just <laughs> do this 
it's like just a balance to keep my body up okay. yeah my strength is my arms and yeah i think on the water i have a good technique because i learned it in holland but it's getting worse in france the technique <laughs> and especially i have a little bit pain in my shoulders so i tried to normally i was like this but now i'm a little bit on the side to yeah to not have that pain so i changed it a little bit but for the open water it's fine if you catch a little bit on the side cool so um uh, it's two things uh get your mileage in the pool but also get the experience in the open water uh when i first started doing open water i did a lot more training in open water just to get a feel of it do some more races, just um, you know, get a feel of racing in a group, and you know, in the pool you have your own lane, nobody's touching you. Mm. You gotta get used to just swimming with other people, and you know how to uh, divide your energy. And definitely in a 10k race, you cannot just go and swim and then see where you end up. That's not gonna work. Yeah, you need a plan, and uh, I think just by doing it a lot, you you're gonna improve it. Me, it's not the same. I I don't have the plan of my race before. <laughs> I plan it in the race. Uh, I swim on my feelings, like how I feel. If I want to go at 2k, I go and I just trust that I will not die at the end. But uh, I loved op uh, pool swimming because it was you had your own lane. And I remember when I started swimming open water, I was scared all the time of getting hit. Uh, every time I saw a buoy, I was like, Oh, I'm gonna get hit. How am I? I'm gonna turn around. But now I'm swimming relaxed, and I have the feeling no one is hitting me anymore. But it's because I changed. I I choose the good positions. And I remember in Kazan, uh, we were like 80 girls at the start, and I had a panic attack <laughs> at the five. And I was like, okay, just go in front. But it cost me a medal at the end. I didn't have the energy to finish. But sometimes I got a lot of panic attacks and when girls were next to me it wasn't good but now uh, yeah it's better and now I lo like open water swimming and first it was like <laughs> I'm a little bit scared but now it's good for you uh, well first we got some training the train camp in Abu Dhabi uh, in uh, Seychelles and then we go to Abu Dhabi it's the 20th of October yeah. Yeah. yeah and then we go to Abu Dhabi yeah so we have cool. a nice uh, traveling ahead of us. Well, thank you very much for your time and look forward to seeing how you race and your race coming up. Oh, thank you. Thank you.